Tekken Island 1, episode 13. Google Docs and Inspiration. Beta. And we're going to show you Google Docs and Spreadsheets. You can get it at docs.google.com. And once you signed up for a free Google, Google account, you might have one already if you use Gmail or any of the other Google services, you can have uh, Google Docs and Spreadsheets. It's like Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel, but it's free and it's online so you can access your data from anywhere. So we're going to show you. We're going to open up a new document. Just click on the new document link. And it's going to load the uh, text editor. So right here, it's, uh, it's sort of feature limited. It doesn't have all the features of Word, but it has the basic stuff. Bold, under, bold italicized, underlined. You, know, you can change the font size. You can change the color. You can add bullets and numberings. Make it centered. But that's pretty much about it for formatting. But that's pretty much what you need for day to day. But, and it lets you export as docs, you know, you can export it as a doc file to open up in Word, or you can print it, save it as a PDF so that you can print it, or print it. So it's basically, you know, basic document uh, editing. But the real uh, strength of Google Docs and Spreadsheets is its collaboration and sharing function. You go to uh, collaborate over here, or add collaborators down there, you can enter in the email address of people that you want to be able to view or be able to edit your documents. So say where this comes really helpful if you're working on a group paper together, uh, you can just enter in one person starts it and then you enter in everyone's email addresses and then anyone or then those people they just log on to the document, make their changes, save, and then the next time another member of the group goes on there, they'll see the changes that have been made. You can go to the revisions tab and see any past changes. I don't know if this document's been saved yet, so there might not be. There's only one revision, but you can check. You can compare between two revisions or revert to a certain revision if, you know, someone's made bad changes. So everything's saved. And, yeah, so if you collaborate or if you work in an office and you have to send out documents for review, and for comments for other people, you can send it as a Google Docs, post in Google Docs and Spreadsheets or import it. And then set, uh, set, collaborate with the people that need to view it and then they can view it and then they make the actual changes on it. And then, you know, in the revisions tab, you can see what changes have been made. It really gets everyone involved in a group, group project because before, you know, one person writes and then you email it to people to make changes and then everyone, you know, makes their changes and sends it back to you, but then everyone made changes from the original document, so you have to merge those changes together, collate those changes, and make them on a document. This does it all for you because everyone's always editing the most recent document. And also a good thing is it lets more than it lets more than one person edit at a time. Most things can't do that. For example, Word, if you try and do that, it'll just pop up an error message. But this one lets people edit two separate sections of the document, or two separate sections of the document at the same time. And Ed is going to explain how it also works for spreadsheets. So you go back to the main, the main home tab, or you know, you save it, close it, and then open up a new spreadsheet. Now, you can make spreadsheets basically like Excel, and um, just click on new spreadsheets here. And you'll see here it's basically like it's the Excel version of like a spreadsheet, except it's very basic and it's pretty much all you need. Yeah. It's for something that's on the go, and you can same thing as the um, 
more processor, you can just do it anywhere. Yeah, you can anywhere. You have an internet connection. You're able to access all the things that you have saved on here, edit them, and save them. And this has the same collaborate functions as the same bold, underline, and italicize. I don't think it does charts, and it doesn't have some of the advanced Excel stuff like pivot tables. But this is if you only want to like calculate, you know, if you want to, you know, just sum, you know, like have, you know, people and then the score they got in a basketball game and then sum it at the bottom. This more than meets your needs. And best of all, it's completely free, no charge, provided by Google. So go to docs.google.com, sign up, completely free, saves all your stuff. They're, they don't even have a pay option at all. So we can save and sign out. So I'm Michael Plasmar. I'm Ed Roshan. And this has been Tecker 911 on Google Docs and Spreadsheets. For computer help, visit Tecker, our social computer help network at T-E-C-K-E-R.net. To watch this episode again, get show notes, or get show notes, or subscribe to versions for your feed reader, both video and audio in multiple formats, visit our website at 911.tecker.net. Also on iTunes, search for Tecker in the iTunes store, and you can subscribe to versions for your iPod. Ooh, iPod! You can send us your show suggestions, feedback, and other mail at 911 at .net, or leave us a voicemail at 610-572-2730. I'm JD. I've got a quick tip for you. If you have a lot of windows open and you need to get back to your desktop, really simple. You take that nice little button with the Windows logo on it, I'm going to call it the Windows button. You hold that down, you press D, bam, you're back to your desktop. That has been a really quick tip.